In this tutorial, we'll create custom key metrics as workbook authors in Fusion Data Intelligence, or FDI. Key metrics measure business performance in specific areas to help make data-driven decisions. The ability to create my own key metrics, in addition to those provided by Oracle, helps me to customize my analysis based on my specific business needs. In this tutorial, I'll create a custom key metric for average salary using a pre-built workbook and subject area. In my workbook, I'll go to the key metrics category in the data panel and right click to select create key metric. From there, I'll input information like average salary for the name and a brief description as well as the calculation. I'll type salary in the calculation field and a drop down menu will appear with options. Then I'll choose the salary measure. I'll type in the operational symbol and word headcount. Then search the drop down list until I find the headcount metric that fits my needs. To add mathematical functions, I can go to the functions panel in the create key metric pop up and select from the functions available. I can choose from operators like addition or even aggregates like average to help me build my key metric. Once I've designed the calculation, I'll validate it to ensure it works without errors. This will give me a verification showing the step was successful. I'll select save when this step is complete and then I'll go back to the data panel to review the key metrics category and see a green dot. This green dot signifies that a new key metric has been created but not saved. I can either stop here or add related columns before saving my key metric. In this example, I'll add related columns. If I right click on the new average salary category, I'll see a few options including create related column. If I add columns that are related to the key metric, I can analyze it across different attributes. For example, the key metric I created is average salary. A related column can make it easier to compare average salaries for these different attributes rather than just seeing a single aggregated value. To include one, I'll select Create Related Column and fill in the details for this new category. I'll call it Business Unit Name. Search for that phrase in the Calculations field and select the option that fits best. Then I'll validate and select Save for this related column. Now I'll go back to key metrics in the data panel and see business unit name indented under average salary. I can use this as an attribute when needed. By repeating this process, I've added country as a related column to help analyze my data further. To save my key metric, I'll right click on the key metrics folder and select Save key metrics. The key metric is now saved at the subject area level, meaning it could be used in other workbooks using the HCM Workforce Core subject area. Find additional videos in this series and more information on using Fusion Data Intelligence resources in the links below.